More than 10 million undocumented immigrants are living in communities across the United States, and on average, many of them have been living here for more than 16 years. If you or someone you know is living and working in the country illegally, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Rogan and this is This Bahamian Gal. On my platform, I do social commentary and reaction videos. So, with that being said, let's get it. This video is sponsored by 81 Tax Prep. So, I wanna read a stat. I wanna read a stat that I saw online. At least 50% of undocumented immigrant households file income tax returns using individual tax identification numbers. In 2021 alone, these households contributed $30.8 billion in total taxes, including $18.6 billion in federal income taxes and $12.2 billion in state and local taxes. Now, this highlights the importance of those immigrants getting ITINs, also known as individual tax identification numbers. Well, how do they do that? Some of them know how to do it, some of them don't. But here to help us today is Donna Ingram of 81 Tax Prep, who knows all about the procedures. She knows what to do. And I have her here joining me. Thank you so much for being here, Donna, just to help you all, guide you all, to let you know what to do moving forward. Donna, it's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, give our audience a little background about your organization. Okay, um, Donna Ingram. My company's name is 81 Tax Prep. That was started eight years ago. Um, we started in the tax industry and we are still in the tax industry. However, we have found uh, a passion for our community of immigrants that needs understanding about the immigration process, what it means to make sure you're doing the right thing here if you come here undocumented. All right, so let's talk about individual taxpayer identification number, also known as I-10. Now, I gotta be honest, I've seen this in the past, but I have not um, been really familiar with it because I know as an immigrant woman myself, you know, coming into this country when I was here for university, um, most of what I heard was social security number. You need an SSN. You need an SSN if you want to open a bank account, if you want to pay rent, if you want to, you need an SSN if you want to get an apartment. Um, I had rarely heard about ITIN. So what is it? It's self-explanatory, you know, individual taxpayer identification number, but really what is it and how do people go about getting it? Okay, so the government realized 19 years ago that um, immigrants were in the country and they're already here and so they decided to okay listen we know that you're working and so we want to give an opportunity to be of good moral character that yeah. is the main thing be of good moral character if you're working in a country that takes taxes from your paycheck you need to be a part of that and so they created what they call ITIN aka tax ID. A lot of people know it in the streets as a tax ID. So it is the same thing. Um, and ITIN is an individual taxpayer identification number, and that is used to pay your taxes. It's a government issued number. There's three ways to go about getting your ITIN. Um, you can go through a certified accepting agency like myself here at 81 Tax Prep. We're certified by the IRS. What that in essence means is that a lot of people don't have to send in their passport. A lot of people don't want to send in their original documents, hence the reason why um, a lot of people use a company like myself who does all three processes for them which you know which entails a tax return we are also a tax company it entails certifying your documents and also doing the application so there's three parts to this application and so the second way of doing it is going through an AA which is an accepting agent so there's different terms that people need to be familiar with and what an AA does is that they have to send in the passport they're not certified to certify the documents. So they send in to the IRS to certify the documents for them. And the, the third way that everybody can, you know, access an item is also do it themselves. Um, and what I mean by do it themselves is they can fill out the application, but do you know how to do a tax return? You can't certify your documents, so you have to go to the IRS main office to certify your documents. So we encourage everyone to, if they would like to take the pathway of somebody is taking care of the whole process for them, they should use a certified accepting agency. 
let's talk about the benefits of paying taxes. Now, this is going to sound crazy to a lot of people. I, we don't pay income taxes in the Bahamas. Um, so I was not accustomed to paying income taxes, but there was a part of me, even though I don't like the government taking my money, there was a big part of me that was kind of happy to pay taxes because it made me feel like I was a part of the community, like I was doing something, like I had a stake in the United States. So um, just talk a little bit about um, the ITIN and the benefits of paying taxes. And um, obviously there's benefits to Uncle Sam, but what are the benefits to the actual individual who's paying the taxes? The ITIN guys will show presence. We want to stress that. And we also want to show, sell you, the ITIN is for good moral character. Yeah. Morally, you are obligated to pay your taxes on income you've earned. Any country you live in, you have to pay your taxes. And tax does not, you're not defined by your status in America. They're literally saying, there's a way to do it. And here's the way, here's the pathway. So do it the right way and it will always help you, it will never hurt you in the long run. Well, yeah, undocumented immigrants can get an ITIN. The IRS says so, but some may still feel hesitant about coming forth, fearful that securing an ITIN is just a ruse to get them arrested and deported. Here's what Donna had to say about that. So true story, um, the stats of 2021 says they have 5.4 million active ITINs in America. Who's going to round up 5.4 million people? The government isn't. And so that agency, the IRS agency, does not share information with DHS, Department of Homeland Security. They do not swap information. So individuals need not to be scared about somebody pulling up your door because you filed for an ITIN. An ITIN is strictly to pay your taxes on the income you've earned, however you earn them, under the table. However you earn your income and you don't have a social it's an opportunity with an item to pay your taxes legally. And you mentioned that the application fee is what, under $100? Are there any other fees? What's involved with this? So it's one fee, right? Um, we do all three steps and we charge $500 for the service. And I want to also push the fact that we go beyond item. We are a community-based business. That means our clients come to us for health insurance. Our clients come to us to ask us questions about life insurance. We are a resource center, per se, for free, mm -hmm. along with you being our clientele. So you don't just get your item here and we push you through the door. No, no, no. We don't do that. We are a source center, resource center for our community. And so that's why we, you know, we, we wrote a manual for them to, to reference. So we have a reference guide that we ship in every package. And we also have a welcome packet um, for our clients when they are part of our community where we ship them merch and uh, a nice vetted documented book. Yes. So we give that, that, they give them that so they can have a reference to if they want, okay, let me see, look up what Ms. Donna said about driver's license in California. Let me look up what Donna said about um, building my credit. You know what I'm saying? So. We want people to know that we are here for them along this whole journey until their status change. You want to use somebody who's been in this field for a while, who knows what they're asking for. A lot of people come to us and their application is messed up because they tried to do it themselves or they went to somebody who's not a certified accepting agent. A lot of people, if you don't know the term, you don't know who you're going to. And that is what it is. And so if I go, if I come to you and I say, I want to do my item, some people may not say I'm a certified or I'm not. So you have to, you can look up every company that you want to work with on the irs.gov website. As a main source of if you want to vet the company that you're going to work with, go on irs.gov and you can search up an accepting agent that will take care of your application. That's that's a good point. Um, and to, I want I want to go back to something you said, um, and it basically sounded like a horror story. I want to talk about the horror stories that you've heard because, you know, in this line of work, you are, you're dealing with immigrants, undocumented immigrants who are extremely, extremely fearful about um, being repatriated, being deported to their country. So a lot of them will not take advantage of the things that they can. Um, but talk a little bit about the horror stories because I know that a lot of folks have reached out to companies or individuals to get work like which your company is providing done only to be duped, bamboozled in the end. So just talk about like some of the things that you've heard um, when dealing with your clients. So I'll give you two stories, right? One is dealing with 
online companies that are you know on top of the chain when you google it and so what these online companies don't do is that they tell you that they don't do the three parts they only do one part so while they click on item on the internet they take them to a page where you pay first then you fill it out it's 98 dollars it's very attractive it's 98 dollars yeah. to do this application what people don't understand right after that application is filled out they send you all the next steps that you need to do on your own so that is super important for people to understand when you're googling or you know if you're looking for a company to work with you kind of have to know but some people don't know because it doesn't tell you on the main screen another horror story is somebody pretends to be a certified accepting agent Oh, that happened absolutely and we had to redo the application and when they went to the person to get their refund the person was very agitated and so you know there's nothing you can do about that because what you're going to do they weren't certified they didn't even have their right IRS um, information like their right IRS numbers because we have numbers behind our name when we you know we do stuff with the IRS they kind of were suspended for a year but they did not tell the person. And a lot of people get bamboozled because one thing, because I know pricing. And I know, I know it's difficult for a lot of people in our, in our community. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, guys. Everybody, pricing should not be the deterrent factor for not working with somebody great. One of the things that I can say that I really do respect about your company is the fact that it's not about just consulting with a customer or a client, giving them what they want in that moment and then just kind of leaving them to their own devices. Good, you got this, you're on your own. Um, there seems to be a continuous process of staying engaged and involved um, with your clients' lives. And one of the things that a lot of people want other than to be uh, regulated in this country is they want to start their own businesses. They want to be entrepreneurs. So talk a little bit about your item to entrepreneurship uh, webinar that your company hosts. So, you know, part of I'm, I'm an entrepreneur myself and a lot of individuals that leave their country, they were entrepreneurs in their country. And so you come here and you're stuck in this place of what to do next. We're talking about people who's already here, everybody. And they want to open a business, but they don't know how. And hence come, we said, let us come up with something, a program for individuals that's here already, that has some inclination about business, that wants to try business, that don't know how. Let's have a class for them once a month. And that's why we deemed it item to entrepreneurship because you can take that item. The government says it's a legal matter. The government says you can take your item and turn it into a business. You know, there's nothing quite like having somebody walk you through the program or walk you through a process and still being there like a safety net um, if they fall. Uh, so just tell me a little bit about your mentorship program that you offer. So the mentorship program is really for somebody looking for somebody one-on-one -on -one who wants to work with them, help to develop their business, see how I've grown from a $400 business to multiple six-figure business, right? You want to learn from somebody from who worked from nothing, and I say nothing because $400 is where I started my business with, to just finding my niche, finding my love, finding my passion, in this industry work with people who is going to say listen i know that this is a far fetch for me i want to try something i want to do it the right way i want to grow i want to build one-on-one -on -one with me for six weeks is our mentorship program for anybody who's looking for that you know that mentor to help them guide them along their entrepreneurship journey and on top of that you have a resources center for those individuals who need help right I think this is refreshing for our community because a lot of people, a, a lot of don't invest in our community, right? In terms of information, and I know that, you know, at the end of the day, they are, they're individuals too, and they need to know what's right from wrong. And what we, we, we are trying to tell them, listen, we know you're going to get sorted out, but here's what you do in the interim. So our resource center is free classes, resume writing. We do that. We give them a tax class every couple of months. We just refresh their memory as to what they need to be saving towards the next tax season. Um, we give them a customer service class, an etiquette class, right? Because at the end of the day, you may not think you need that kind of class, but any job you go to, any kind of um, settings you are in, you have to know how to conduct yourself, right? right? We give um, 
the tax class and anybody well we had a guy on who was teaching them how to buy a home if this is a dream of yours and you want to own a home here's what you need to do to get to that stage so we have a home buying guy a, a loan originator guy on our program as well in our private in our private class because we do stuff privately because we respect our community and we want them to feel safe asking questions when we do our private zoom with our clients so these are all just for our clients so we give array of different classes to them to let them know listen we're here with you we want to see you win we want you to do the right the right thing we want to make sure that you're on the pathway to change in your life i would imagine that you have a lot of women who are coming to you for help and a lot of women you know i, I talk to women all the time and one of the biggest dreams that they have is they want to open their own business they want to be entrepreneurs so talk to me a little bit about this nonprofit foundation for young women you're a business owner you're a woman you look young i don't know how old you are but you look super young ah that's some good that's some good caribbean jeans I'm that's some good caribbean, the caribbean jeans, jeans honey. It's the caribbean <laughs> jeans. but talk to me a little bit about the nonprofit foundation that you've got for these young women who want to be entrepreneurs okay. yeah so my you know I'm, i have a passion for entrepreneurship because um back then i didn't have anybody to pour into me right I, I've always been what they say a hustler, but I've become a businesswoman now, a real CEO, a real entrepreneur. I want to show people how to do it the right way. We don't have to go out here. Hustle is a good term because you're going out there, you're getting what you got to get done. You're doing what you have to do to get what you need, you know, for yourself and your family. But how we do business now can be so different. So many tools out here that you can tap into. And we want our young entrepreneurs to know that, listen, if it's selling berets, if it's selling hair, if it's selling lashes, if it's selling your, you know, artwork, whatever it is, you can turn that into a business. Donna, Donna, you, you seem to be a little Renaissance woman. You're a Renaissance woman. I mean, you got, you got tour coming up. Road tour? What was this road tour? Tell us a little bit about the ITIN road tour. I mean, you're writing yep. books, you're doing tax prep. Now you got so listen, road tour. Man, What's I, this? I'm so excited. Like this gives me so much joy and I'm so excited about where the company is going, what we have to offer, and how we can really help our immigrant community. And I am elated in terms of the support I've gotten on every platform and how people are trust wow. trusting. Because remember, trust takes a long time to build. Mm -hmm. It takes that one time for people to lose that in you and we want to make sure that people we have a good reputation out here and we want to do stuff with integrity and and with zeal and with zest and we want to make sure people get all that we say we're going to give to them when they come to our place of business wonderful now tell our audience one more time how they can reach you so you know we are in every platform at ad1 tax prep and also you know we have an office a location they can always come and see us um but a lot of our clients are virtual um but we can always um come and see us here in freeport long island um so if you're in five boroughs you can always come to us um we can be reached um by email at info at ad1taxprep.com that is our main email box and our phone number here at the company is 516-408-5528 absolutely anything final that you want to add yes so guys listen you want to come over here honey you want to come <laughs> you want to come to this company honey we take care of our peoples and we are a force to be reckoned with in this industry right now. We are one of the hottest things moving. We are integral. We're funny. We are quirky. We we know we we just want to help our community. And that's what I want to say. Listen, you want to trust. Um, do your research, but look us up. 81 tax part. You know, before you go, I I, I have to say something. I, first of all, I want to thank you for doing this interview. That's number one. Number two, I want to thank you for trusting me and my platform with this interview. Um, when you approached me, we were talking Absolutely. on Skype a few weeks ago. One of the things I was extremely cautious, guarded about is using my platform to, you know, because optics are very important in this line of work. And I didn't want to give the appearance that I was encouraging people to immigrate to this country illegally. That's not what I'm about. I, I believe very strongly in legal immigration. I, I can say that and I will say that to the day I die. But we're talking about the individuals who are already here. 
individuals who probably have families who don't, you know, they've left their homes for whatever reason. They don't have the safety net of having um, the finances in a lot of respects or family members or friends to catch them if they fall. Um, and they're here and they want to get on the right path. And so I'm grateful that your companies like yours are doing the work to assist individuals. And, and for you especially, it doesn't seem like it's just meeting up with the client and just leaving them to their own devices. It seems like you just keep you just keep at it. You're, you're with them every step of the way. So I want to applaud you for that. And again, I want to thank you for trusting me and my platform with your with your with your story. Yes, I, I and I thank you for allowing me to be on your platform and um, to get the, the word out. Um, a lot of people, you know, are not on social media. Some people get their information differently. So we, I just want to thank you as well for allowing me. And I and I and I understand your concern and but we are telling the people that are here that are already in this country do the right thing and 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 make your pathway so much more better get up it's not a walk of shame but a no. walk of resilience and let's get up and let's do the best that we can with what we have right now thank you so much donna thank you everyone thank who you is so much watching for having me this video right, please if you have questions for donna you please reach out to her the information is going to be um, on the end of the screen. I'll also have it linked down below in the description box. If you have comments or questions, you don't, you don't feel like you're just there yet where you're going to reach out, but you want to ask some questions inside of the, uh, comment section, please drop them down below and we'll see what we can do. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. I'll see you all next week, Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern standard time. I love you. Mwah. Thank you again, Donna. Bye-bye.